this video we're going to create code in Excel VBA that allows us to get all of the file names from a folder of our choosing and populate those file names into column A of our current spreadsheet. So you can see here I have a folder called old and it just has some old files in it. Some are Excel files, others are Word docs. And we just want to bring all of those file names into column A beginning in row 2. So the first thing I want to do is hit Alt F11 to go into the VBA editor window. Anywhere in this project window I'm going to right click, go to insert, and then module. Now before we begin our code, an important thing we need to do is go up to tools and then references. We want to look for something called Microsoft scripting runtime and it's down here it's in alphabetical order so you can just scroll down until you find it make sure this is checked and click OK what this does is it enables some pretty nice features that makes the coding a lot easier so we'll begin with the keyword sub we'll call this subroutine get files hit enter now we need to declare some variables. So my first variable is going to be called FSO and that's short for file system object and that is going to be as the data type scripting and then file system object. Now what this does is it, just think of it as the highest tier of a file system object. It's just something we need to set up that enables us to access some of these key features that we'll see here shortly um, in this file system object library, like methods and properties like get file, get folder, things of that nature. So our next variable we'll just call fl dr for folder and that's also going to be as the data type scripting but this time it's going to be folder I'm going to call my next variable fil for file and it's going to be as the data type scripting and then file finally we have a path variable that is going to be as the data type string and this will represent the path of the folder that I just showed you, the, the path we want to go to to get the files. So the first thing I want to define is that path variable. So I just want to get the path of this folder. And the easiest way to do that is to go to that folder, right click in the address bar and copy it. And this needs to be enclosed in double quotes because it is a string. So now we need to use the keyword set because we're going to set up our file system object variable. And this is going to be to begin with the keyword new because we want to create a new instance of this file scripting object. And the rest of the syntax is going to be exactly the same as above here. We just want scripting and file system object. And so what this does is when we set our next variable, the folder, and then we refer to our FSO variable that we just defined, we get a list of methods here and properties that are just easy to follow and makes the coding easier. So in this case we want to, since we're dealing with our folder, we want to get the folder method and the only input for that is the folder path as a string and we could put this entire string that we have here for the folder path but we assigned it to this variable called path so all we need to do is type in that variable name so now what we want to do is perform a for each loop to run through all of the files in this folder variable 
And what a for each loop does is it just repeats a series of steps until it goes all the way through. So before we do that though, we want to define a counter variable and this I'm just gonna call X and it's gonna represent the row number of our spreadsheet. So it's gonna begin at row two because row one is our header. And then we're gonna begin our for each loop. And we have our file variable that we declared up here. And we need to use the keyword in because we wanna look at each file in our folder variable and then a full stop and then we want to get we want to look at all the files in that folder variable and on our active sheet in the cells and the cells has two inputs a row input and a column input so our row input is going to be our x variable that we defined up here because we want to begin on row 2 and we want this to be in column A always so that's going to be a value of 1 that is a static number and this is going to be equal to whatever file we're on currently and get the file name so once we've gone through and obtained that first file name, what we want to do is increment our counter variable. So we want x to equal what it was before plus 1. And then to go to the next cycle of our loop, we need to use the keyword next and use our file variable name to go to the next file so this will go to the next file it finds in the folder and then our x variable will be set to a value of 3 and it will populate in the row below row 2 the file name for that next file and repeat until it goes through every single file so what we'll do here is hit F8 to execute each line of code one line at a time so you can see what's going on as we run through this. So you can see our X variable is currently set to empty. When I execute that now, it's now equal to two. So once I hit F8 again, what we should see is the first file name populate in row two, and it does. So now we have x still set to 2, and now it is a value of 3, and we're going to go to our next file in the folder, and we should see the second file populate in row 3, and it does. So from this point, I'm just going to hit play to continue out the rest of this code all at once, and you can see it populates all the file names in column A. So that is how you can create code in VBA that allows you to get all of the file names from a folder of your choosing and put them into your spreadsheet. Hey, if you like what you saw today, please hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching.